But I will say this, Charlie. Yes. You don't know everybody who's done a Lambo leap. But you know the person who didn't <laughs> make the Lambo leap. You know, that's true. And uh, you got to be known for something. For new Packers coming on the team, what's your advice? How do you not screw up the Lambo leap? Uh, number one, when it's nice outside, you don't have a lot of obstacles, but once it starts to get cold, they have this, they have like a, uh, a drainage system around, which are basically just crates that when it snows or, or when it frosts or anything like that, it's a pitch of like one degree and they go to these drains and then these drains, you know, allow the water to funnel in and get out of the stadium. And, but those drain when it gets really cold outside, those drains, when the water hits them, they, they get a little icy. So you have to watch the drains when it gets cold out. Conversely, there are a lot of television cameras with wires around. <sighs> so I spent my whole time focusing, not slipping on the ice, and I lost track of where those wires were on the field. And when I jumped, I had a wire on top of my shoe when I jumped in. In fact, if you go back and, and roll the footage, you can see me turn around and cuss out the cameraman <laughs> oh, the really? off my foot. You know, a lot of people ask me, what's it going to be like for players to not have fans in the stands? And I said, well, I wouldn't be able to do a Lambo leap now. And, and they said, wait, what? And I said, well, usually I got about three quarters of the way up and the last quarter was on the fans to pull me the rest <laughs> of the way up the stands. Without the fans, I'm not I'm not attempting it. Do you play sheep's head or anything oh, like yeah. that? Or you, oh, sheep. you do play sheep's head. Yeah, I took sheep's, I took sheep's head in a long time ago. And uh, I like the jack of diamonds with five guys. That's oh, the way I yeah. Like, uh, yeah wow. so. We got to get a game going once let's the COVID do thing's done. Let's, let's, do, let's I, do that. For a while, I was going to uh, like, a, like a sheep's head tournament over at the oneida casino you got to be kidding me no. they got his sheep's head tournament over there yeah mm -hmm. how many how many uh how many tables people. it was like 100 people wow what was yeah. the buy-in it was like 20 bucks to get in that's but it was just fun it was just fun because i could never i could never make it to like the final table or anything it, it's not to me it wasn't really about the money it was like how far can i get yeah you know, I go in there. I think I know a little something about sheep's head and these guys are all BSing around and stuff like uh, that. I don't understand half the side lingo they have. I know that's the stuff. Like, okay. Now I understand crack, recrack and all that other happy uh -huh. junk in the side lingo and they're talking all this other side. Lingo. But then I started thinking, are these guys table talking? And I don't know if they're table talking and they're shooting stuff back, like trying to figure out whose partners they're just trying to get me out of the game. It, Oh, exactly. that's what they're doing. They're they're yeah. table talking, finding out who partner is. You know, you can yeah. get stabbed with a fork for that. Okay, yeah. and here you, get, here you get stabbed with a spoon. Maybe you okay. know, okay. you get stabbed with a fork. But yeah. Well, not when I play with my dad. He would stab with a fork uh, if you table talk. That's a no no. So roll out the barrel and get the band brewing. Life's got you down. Just keep her moving.